guys, it's Jarek the Dragon from RDA. We got another accuracy test today. This one is of the Cybergun licensed KWC made Taurus PT99. We got a fully loaded magazine, which is an extended mag. It holds a lot of BBs and it holds CO2. We're going to be shooting these targets as always. Again, I got to stress that this is not exactly the best size. It's, it's actually pretty small. It's re actually really small. It's not a man-sized target, but I'm going to be classifying it as a man-sized target because it's more man-sized than our headshot target right over here. Another thing to note, this gun was recently discontinued. So if you buy this gun, you'll be getting the very last production model or one of the very last production models that KWC has ever made. I'm not sure why they discontinued it. They've been discontinuing discontinuing a lot of items as of late. Uh, another example is their full metal KWC Smith & Wesson Sigma, which they recently discontinued, and I'm honestly not sure why. My only thing I can think of is that maybe they lost some uh, a contract with Cybergun or something. I'm honestly not sure. But either way, we got one of these. We're going to be selling it. I'm glad to be able to grab one of these before it's sold out for the main reason of it shoots semi and full auto, is full metal, is blowback, and it has actually pretty nice trades, which wasn't my original idea for buying it, but it definitely adds to it. So, let's see how accurate this gun is. All right, now we're 50 feet away at the headshot target, semi-automatic. All right, full auto. Okay, so I can already tell you that one, this thing has enough recoil to make it a little bit inaccurate on full auto, and two, it starts going spray and play in full auto anyway. But semi-automatic, 50 feet away, you're gonna have no problem hitting the target. All right, now we are 100 feet away. Semi-automatic, man-sized target. All right, some automatic looks like you're gonna hit it. Let's go full auto. All right, so full auto also looks like you're gonna hit it. It starts getting a little bit spray and pray because of the recoil, but hey, you're not gonna miss. All right, 100 feet away, headshot target. All right, let's go full auto. All right, so it looks that 100 feet is going to be about the max that this gun can hit. You can hit it. You definitely can, especially a man-sized target. It's going to be a pretty easy target to hit a man-sized target from 100 feet away. But I think once you start scooting further away, it's going to start becoming a oh, pretty pretty hard to hit your target, but let's go ahead and go 150 feet away anyway. Hey, would you look at that? 150 feet away, we were actually hitting a man-sized target on semi-automatic. Let's go full auto, see if we can still hit it. And we just ran out of CO2, so I'll have to regas it, but hey, we just ran out of the magazine as well. All right, so I'm actually a little bit surprised. 150 feet away on semi-automatic. You can hit the target. You're going to hit it most of the time, not all of the time. Full auto, it starts becoming a little bit harder to hit your target. It starts becoming a little spray and pray, and then it becomes luck if you're going to hit it or not. Uh, so I wouldn't advise going full auto 150 feet away to see if you can hit it. Uh, but on semi-automatic, you can definitely hit a man target at 150 feet away. Kind of surprised. All right, now we're 150 feet away, shooting at the headshot target. Reload up the gun. Semi-automatic, I don't anticipate I'm going to be able to hit it, but let's go ahead and try anyway. Well, we 
were able to get it once, but don't be expecting to get any headshots at 150 feet away with this gun. Let's go full auto. And we are out of BBs, but as you guys just saw, this gun becomes total spray and pray on full auto. You're not going to be able to hit a target at 150 feet away on full auto unless you're really lucky. Alright, now we are just going to be shooting down range. Got a fully loaded magazine, this holds 40 BBs and one CO2 cartridge. Semi-automatic. Now let's go full auto, which is this little switch right there. And we are out of BBs. Alright, so as you guys saw, this thing isn't the world's best when it comes to accuracy. However, it is above average when it comes to accuracy because you can hit a target at 150 feet away, a man-sized target, on semi-automatic. On full auto, don't be planning on hitting any targets away. Uh, it's going to be luck if you hit it or not. And don't be planning on doing any headshots for 150 feet. However, 150 feet is usually a little bit further than you'd be shooting with your pistol anyway. This gun is almost going to be your panic gun. Turn it on full auto. If you run out of ammo with your main gun, throw it on your main arm, pull out your stun arm, do a full auto burst, trying to get cover, trying to reload. It's almost your panic gun, which is something I, I actually use a scorpion a lot for that. Try to get to reload my main arm, although Scorpion's a little bit different story. However, I am very pleased with this. Semi-auto is pretty accurate. Full auto, it has a really nice feeling on full auto. Good recoil. It's uh, it makes it, it throws the accuracy off just a little bit. However, it's that good mix of not too much, not too little. So again, if you want to buy this gun, we only got one of them and they're discontinued, so we won't be able to, be able to get any more. I'm sad about that because I actually really like this thing. But if you want to buy it, there's a link right below me to RDA's website. There's also a link right below me to RDA's forum. So with that said, that has been Red Dragon Airsoft's accuracy test of the Cybergun License KBC Made Taurus PT-99.